there. What were you seeing from him? Um, yeah, I thought the, it looked like stuff-wise it was okay. A little difficult from the side to see, you know, some of the locations on the pitches, but it seemed like maybe just had a hard time driving his cutter in on, on righties, which is something he had a little bit of trouble with in his last start, um, but pitch, pitch better. But I'd have to review it and kind of see where he was missing, but that's what it seemed like to me. You mentioned that cutter. It's been so valuable for him this season when he doesn't have that pitch. Is it difficult for him to navigate through a lineup? Yeah, I mean, especially, you know, you know he's going to go up against all righties, and that's really the equalizer for him. When he's on with that pitch, um, you know, it creates a problem as, as, as a right-handed hitter because you got to deal with that thing usually elevated in on your hands, and then that opens up the outside part of the plate for his for his backdoor slider, for the changeup. Um, so that's what, you know, when he's right, he's really driving it in there. And I you, thought he l left it on. You look at that first inning, he threw 39 pitches, not necessarily helped by the defense there with the Andujar error towards the end of the inning. Was he just rushing that throw there? Um, well, he had to hurry a little bit. Um, you know, it's probably a play he's got to move through instead of, you know, catching and setting his feet to go. He's got to kind of move through. So I actually don't think he rushed it. Um, it's probably a play that he needed to make a little more on the run with one hand, and then he's then he would have had plenty of time. After Sabathia, you went to Cole. What did you like about Cole in that situation? Just at that point in the game, you know, if, if we would have had to go really early, we would have gone to Sessa. You saw him up um, to give us some length. Um, but we felt like with Cole and with the right-handed hitters, he could give us, you know, an inning plus and try and bridge the gap a little bit. Um, you know, we're going to probably use Greeny today for sure if we could keep it somewhat close. Greeny came in, did his thing, and then, you know, Loisega was terrific. What concern you in the first inning to have um, uh, Sess up? The pitch count. I mean, anytime you get a pitcher that, a starting pitcher, they get up, you're not going to let them go over 40 necessarily in, in any kind of an inning. So you're kind of getting a guy up there to to protect them as as it's getting a little a little out of hand. Fortunately, he was able to write it enough and and give us a couple innings. But um, you know, overall, not as sharpest. Is CC's knee a factor at all? And in, in, since he's come off the DL and had that rest? No, I think it's it's actually probably about as good as it's been. Um, and I think I think the 10 days really helped him because it obviously was a little bit of an issue for him. The two starts leading up to that that little 10 day break, but um, you know he came out of that uh, feeling strong. That first start he made, even he was able to make his side. Um, so I think knee wise, he's okay. What do you like about Loisaga in that situation? Could you use him in that, like a short guy? Sure. You know, I mean, you know, th that's that was pretty impressive. So, I mean, you're talking about a guy that can, you know, is obviously here that can give us length, and and you know, we've seen uh, flashes of him obviously early in the year when he came up as a starter and pitched well. But you know, if guys go out and deliver that kind of the kind of goods he did today. He was dominant for two innings. And, uh, you know, you, you start to, as as this month unfolds, there's opportun opportunities to, to earn a more significant, more uh, a larger role and maybe not just just uh, just length. Aaron, how much better did the A's look than when you saw them back in the state? Yeah, I, I remember him being tough in May, though, even though it wasn't rolling yet. I remember coming away really impressed with, with who they had. Obviously, they've had now some core guys really emerge as frontline players, and uh, they're tough. You know, they it's, a, it's obviously a tough lineup to go through with the additions they've made to the bullpen and, and guys that have really emerged down there. Um, you know, they, they do a good job of shortening the game because they can really match up, especially, you know, with rosters expanding and you can do a lot of different things in the month of September. So um, you know you have to play well to beat these guys. You know, would consider using a guy like Green early in a game, like in that spot where Cole came in, or is that like just too soon in a game to use? Oh, no, guys? no, 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 no. Uh, you know, especially now, I mean, uh, where you have protection down there, um, yeah, if it's the right lane. I mean, I think with Cole, what we liked, and I thought Cole actually pitched well, um, you know, the, the righty lanes he had in those spots could bridge the gap a little bit, knowing that we were going to use Greeny today. In, in some way, shape, or form. So you're just trying to put guys in as you piece it together to try and get them in their best spot to, to limit a little bit of damage. With the lack of hitting, was it the lack of hitting or was it the Oakland pitching? Um, a little of both. You know, um, 
you know, it, w when you can start matching up like that and they have that ability and they have some dynamic guys down there that make it tough, um, you know, it's hard. But, you know, that's it's that time of year. It's hard. You know, if you want to be great, it's hard. So, you know, we got to we got to keep grinding away here and and, and do a better job of uh, of, uh, you know, rallying back you know that said we've been we've been doing a pretty good job overall scoring runs lately but today we were kind of held down uh, after those first couple innings